What is up everyone, it's CMG here, and uh, I'm back on Genshin Impact again, and look, look, I got Kokomi! Yeah, you know something, I have missed so many 5 star characters in Genshin Impact, like I've missed the last, what is it now, 5 5 star characters, uh, I've tried getting Raiden Shogun, I've tried getting Yoimiya, I've tried getting uh, Ayaka, uh, I've tried getting so many 5 stars in the past, and I have failed, and then when I got Kokomi, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll take her. You know, I've, I've missed out on so many of these characters. Uh, I mean, look, just check this out, right? I go to my character archive and yeah, look at the number of characters that I've missed out on. I've missed out on him. I've missed out on he her. Her. Uh, I've missed out on Yoimiya. I I've re pretty much missed out on every single one of them. But then I got Kokomi and I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. There's been a bit of debate about Kokomi. Um, apparently, she is not ideal for a DPS character because of the fact that she has minus 100 crit rate when you first start her out. So, um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've actually been using her as a support character in, in my, my four my four star team at the moment. I've got Mona, I've got Eula, I've got Rosaria. Actually, did I just say four star? Mona and Eula are five star. Rosaria is four star. And Kokomi's five star. So uh, yeah, I've been using Kokomi as like a, a support character um, because of this. You now I bring this down, and it pretty much heals up my characters. Whenever I'm doing a little bit of battle, I can go like this with Eula. I could freeze them, and then I just slap them. Because Eula right now for me is absolutely cracked in terms of the artifacts. But yeah, this is this video is purely on Kokomi because the reason I want to talk a little bit about Kokomi. I want to show you my build for her, and I want to let people know... Well, I, w I want to see if people can actually help me uh, build a better Kokomi. You know, I've just got to work with the fact that she's got like minus 100 crit rate when you first start building her. But yeah, I'm going to show you what my Kokomi looks like. Or Kokomi... How do you pronounce Kokomi? Is it Kokomi or is it Kokomi? I don't know. But as you can see, I've got her at level 80. Uh, it took me... Pretty much a little less time to get her to level 80, I've got to be honest. Uh, and then of course her attack is 1325, defense is 800. Elemental mastery is pretty low though. Um, I don't know how to get that up. Um, I think I might need to get better artifacts that would otherwise give us better elemental mastery. Uh, friendship levels 4, so I've been using it quite a bit. Um, like I said, I'm not using Kokomi as a DPS. I'm more using her more like a support character because she heals. So let's have a look at the, the stats. So right now the crit rate is down to about minus 30. Now when you first start using her or when you, you when you first get her without artifacts or without even buffing her up or anything uh, her crit rate I believe is minus 100. I don't know why Mahoyo decided to do this. I have absolutely no, no idea why but with all the stuff that I've been able to gain over the course of a few weeks, I've been able to bring that crit rate down to about minus 32. It is still terrible, don't get me wrong, but it is what it is. Crit damage is 64%, I've got healing bonus of 40%, i have got an incoming healing bonus of 30%, and my energy recharge, whether I need it or not, if I'm using her as a support, is... 116%. I don't- I have no idea. If anybody is looking at these figures right now and is a Genshin Impact fanatic, if there's anywhere that I need improving, then please do let me know in the comments if you are watching this. Uh, but yeah, this is my setup at least anyway. Now, this is my weapon. Right here I've got Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. This is the only, and I repeat, the only 5-star weapon I've been able to gain from a Wish. Uh, so I've not gotten any 5-star uh, weapons in the game except for this one. Yeah, I just slapped it on Kokomi because of the crit rate, as you can see there. It's currently at level 70. If I can try and ascend that to at least 90, there's going to be a bit more crit rate to be had there, and it'll bring down the crit rate overall. Uh, so, what is it? What is this? Like? Increases movement speed by 10%, and especially when you've got Rosaria in the team as well, if you're running around in, and well, traveling at night time, She's going to be... She's, her, her speed is going to be increased by about 20%. Which is kind of weird. 
but uh, there you go. There's that's um, that's Kokomi's weapon at the moment. That might change, or that's subject to change later on. Now these are my artifacts. So right now I've got Heart of Depth and Maiden Beloved. Uh, now this one here has got uh, attack. That's one's this one's got crit rate on it. Uh, I've got attack of 205, defense, attack, and defense. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much of a standard artifact. I mean, most of the feathers that you get for every artifact set, they're all attack. I think every single one is attack. So uh, yeah. So that's that one. I've got this flower here. Uh, Gilded Corsage from uh, Heart of Depth. I've got HP for that. I think all the flowers are HP. So I've got energy recharge there of 4.5 defense. Pretty much pretty much all attack and defense as you'll soon see. Um, this one, however, this is the this is my only Gladiator's Triumphus. This has got some crit rate on it, as you can see. That brings down the crit rate even more, uh, which is the reason why I've got this. I could have I mean, if I wanted to use Kokomi as more of a support than a DPS dealer, I could maybe add maybe a healing bonus. Because I do have an artifact of this set that has a healing bonus on it. Um, I don't know. I might I might use it at some point. Uh, now, these are the two remaining artifacts I've got here. So I've got... I've got attack for this one. The crit damage... There's crit damage on this one, 14.8%. Uh, I've got an energy recharge, and I've got defense and attack again. Um, and I've got this one here, which is the really... It's pretty much the ugly duckling of the artifact set, because as you can see, it's got cryo damage bonus on it, which I don't really want. However, it does have crit rate on it, which is 7.4%. So, like, preferably I would like a better Goblet of Thunder and Deep for this. But I mean, I'm gonna go with what I've got because of the fact that I've got crit rate on it. If I can, if I can have another, if I if I can get another one like this from a, a domain or something like that, that's got crit rate, but a better main stat rather than cryo damage bonus, I think would be okay. But yeah, I, I'm just gonna use whatever I've got, I guess. So. That's my artifact set. I mean, I mean, I've got Heart of Depth and Maiden Beloved. A lot, a lot of people would use other artifact sets. Main, mainly, people do use like a full artifact set for her. But right now, I've got Maiden Beloved just because I'm using her as a support. Because as you can see there, if you've got a two-piece set, which is what I've got, um, it improves her healing effectiveness by 15%. And the Heart of Depth is there because I'm trying to just beef, beef up her damage. Her hydro damage. So, I mean, yeah, she's a, like a damage dealer, but she's also a healer at the same time. I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, there you go. That's that's my Kokomi. I mean, like, if you are watching this video and you've got some ideas as to what I could do to improve certain areas, like I've done in my previous Genshin Impact videos, then do let me know because I... I mean, I think I know what I'm doing, but then I look at somebody else that's doing 10 times better than me, and I'm thinking, oh, well, they've got a better artifact set than me. So, <laughs> there you go. Consolations, well, obviously I don't have any because, well, she's a five-star character, and I never, I never get five stars. Talents. Um, I haven't done anything with talents. I've only got level two of the normal attack. Courageous Oath, which is the elemental skill, I think is level 4, and the Elemental Burst is level 3. I've really not had a chance to... I mean, oh, that's right, because I've got to get these Spectral Hearts. Before I go any further, I want to talk to you about Spectres in the game. Mahoyo really need to sort out these Spectres, because they are annoying as hell in the game. Especially the Hydro characters. I've, I think I've mentioned this before in a previous Genshin video, but the Spectres are so annoying. Like, they are literally weapon sponges. You slash at them, and slash at them, and slash at them. And then suddenly, they just heal themselves to full health. And then you've got to keep doing it over and over and over again. And it's annoying, because you need to kill these things in order to get these spectral hearts, which you need to improve the talents and the, um, well, leveling her up. Well, I don't need to at the minute in terms of le leveling her up, because... 
Um, I need... Well, I need 24 Spectral Nucleus now. If I need to get her to level 90. I probably won't get her to level 90 at this point in time. But... I mean, I would like to get her to level 90 if I can. Because I need, to, I need her as a good healer for me. Which she has been. But thinking about it now... <laughs> I need to get 24 Spectral Nucleuses, which means I've got to kill a lot of Spectres. Which are so annoying in the game. Please, Mahoyo, just, I don't know, nerf them or something. Stop making them heal as much as they are right now, because they are annoying. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my build for Kokomi at the minute. Uh, I mean, this is subject to change. Um, you know, the more I play this game, because I, I am actually ridiculously in, in addicted to this game. Uh, so, yeah. So just to summarize this, level 80, I've got the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds, improves her speed, I guess. I've got Heart of Depth and Maiden Beloved as her artifact set. I've got no consolations, and, well, leveling her up in terms of talents is slow because of what I mentioned earlier about the bloody spectres. So, yeah. I mean, she's really fun to use. I'm not using her as a DPS. I'm more mainly using her as a support. So, using her as a DPS isn't really my main forte at the minute. Even though, well, technically, if you look at this, the crit rate is minus 32. Which I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to bring down as much as I can. And I will probably be able to. I, I might be able to bring it down to at least minus 10. I mean, when you think about the fact that I've got her weapon at level 70, that's two more ascensions to effectively bring the crit rate down. Hopefully I might do it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty damn good at the minute. So let me know what your build is for Kokomi if you've got her. And uh, if you've got Kokomi or... Is it, look, is it Kokomi or is it Kokomi? I, I don't know. But um, let me know what your Kokomi build is and uh, share it in the comments below if you are watching this. So yeah, that's my video for today. Uh, I know this is a bit of a strange video. I mean, there's not really much I can do with Genshin Impact at the minute. Um, but I'm just doing Genshin videos here and there. You know, it's, it's not, as, not as popular as my Overwatch content. Um, so... Yeah, just make of it what you will. Anyway, thank you very much for stopping by, guys. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this in the future, then go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. Also, go and check out my um, Discord server if you've got the time, and also my uh, Twitter account. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by, guys. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we are all human beings. I've been CMG, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.